today's video, we're going to be continuing our discussion about project. And I want to show you how to change the working time of a calendar. So I have a standard project here, just a blank project, which means that my calendar currently is Monday to Friday, 8 till 5 with a one hour break from 12 to 1. Eight hour shift per day, 40 hour week. So if I wanted to change to, some, to something other than that, so let's just say I want to run a schedule that goes 7 till 7 a.m. till 5 uh, with no breaks, so 10 hour day, uh, and that's Monday to Friday. How you would do that is you would go to the project tab and you click change working time. This pops up the change working time screen. You can either at this point create a new calendar and set up that schedule and then set it in your project information if that's the calendar you wanted to use for your project. Or you could modify standard, which is being used as the project calendar. Now, if this was something that you plan on using in the majority of your projects, I would recommend creating a new calendar. That way we can copy uh, the calendar information over to other files quite easily without disturbing the standard calendar. So in this example, I'm going to create a new calendar. I'm going to call it 10 hour shift. And I could make a new base calendar, which is Monday to Friday, eight till five, one hour break, or I could make a copy of an existing calendar if I just need to make a small tweak. In this case, it's really gonna be the same thing. So I'm just gonna leave it and make a copy of standard. Hit okay. Now I'm modifying my 10 hour shift calendar. So as you can see, if I click on Monday to Friday, it's going eight until five, there's the one hour break. If I click on a Saturday, Sunday, it tells me non-working. And this is for all time. If I continue scrolling through this, uh, you'll notice that it has taken these hours forever, essentially. So if I wanna change my work week, the first thing you wanna do is go over to the work weeks tab along the bottom, choose the default work week, and then click details and that pops up the details of the work week. So I could change individual days here, or I could do a grouping, which is what I wanna do in this particular case. So I'm just gonna click and hold on Monday, drag down to Friday to select those days. And then I have three options. I can use the defaults, I can set them to non-working, mean no work is done, or I can set it to specific times. So in this case, I would like to set it to 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. These subsequent lines are if you wanted to work in any breaks into the shift. Uh, so you would stop in the two and then begin again whenever you'd want. In this case, I'm just gonna do a straight seven till five, 10 hour shift, Monday to Friday. I'm gonna hit okay. As you can see, that has now changed for all time and we're ready to go. Now, that was a work week change. Maybe I wanna add in holidays. So let's just say I am in Canada here, so I'm just gonna make July 1st, which is Canada Day, a holiday. So I'm gonna click on July 1st. I'm gonna find July 1st in my calendar up top here. And then a holiday gets added on the exceptions tab. And an exception doesn't necessarily have to be a holiday, holiday, but it could be something that are outside of your regular work hours. So I'm gonna name this Canada Day. As soon as I hit enter, it automatically sets that to non-working. You can see that over on the side. If I didn't want it to be non-working, I just want it to be different hours, you could go into the details uh, in order to do that. And you can set recurrence patterns. Uh, you can choose how you want it to actually happen. So you don't have to schedule every single one. So now that I've changed my work week, I've added in an exception. Don't forget, we talked about this in the previous video, to go look at your options because options now need to match up. Um, not all the time, but the majority of the time we want these to match up so that when I start putting in durations, everything starts making sense. Now, I don't use uh, weeks as a duration in any of the projects that I run. So um, usually I just leave this one, but if we're going to be particular about it, you can change it, hit OK and now you're ready to go. So now you've set up a calendar in project. So whether you're gonna set that to, as your project calendar, which we'll talk about in the next video, uh, or you're just gonna use it as a schedule you wanna to apply to a resource or a task, it can be done now because that calendar exists within this project file.